So three logics behind our investment approach. The first is that children's brains develop forwards and not backwards, and so we really do have to develop a scaffolding approach to reading and literacy that starts from birth upwards. The second, and we've, I've heard it in the time I've been here, is that um, the, the organisation of government is vascular, uh, largely top-down, we need that. We also need the more neural uh, type of, uh, 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 of organisation of civil society. Um, a healthy body needs both. We're interested in focusing largely on the latter, creating these net community networks that then can interface with the, the government system. And the third is that we have to leverage resources if we're going to um, make a difference. Uh, deal breakers, no, I think that's the wrong way to look at it. We must always be open. But you'd really have to make a very compelling case. If you came to DGMT with quite a narrow approach that is purely focused on learning for education and, and learning for educability, um, and that is not rooted in understanding and harnessing the power of reading for imagination, for empathy, for critical thinking, uh, because that is what our country so desperately needs. Well, wow. um, lessons from failure. I think most um, public strategies, we tend to focus on the supply side, we tend to ignore the demand side, and so we end up trying to push a piece of string and that's what gets in a knot. Um, and so I think we really need to understand the, the motivational side of reading. And we fail when we only focus on literacy skills of children and not on what excites them. We fail when we only focus on the skills development of teachers and not on what motivates them. How much are we focusing on teachers as readers? And we fail when we only get readers. Readers are important. We only get readers and we don't get a rich diversity of storybooks into the hands of children. 500 million rand, first thing I'd do is double it. Um, <laughs> Not from our resources, but if you had 500 million rand on the table, corporates and, and other people in South Africa would put another 500 on the table. I have no doubts about that. What would I do with it? Try and ensure that they're hanging libraries in the homes of every single home that would like one of those. At least 10 books and 10,000 reading clubs for children across the country, starting in children who are, are in infancy all the way up uh, and, and into schools. Getting that sort of vibrant network going uh, is going to complement the type of more formal activity that is needed in the school. Message to President Ramaphosa, we've got 60% of our children dropping out before they get to matric. By foundation phase, we know who most of them are. Um, let's, we, we have to have a new learning stream that is focused on home language, on English and maths only for those children that we know are going to feel like nobodies because they drop out of school and we already knew that. So we have to have ways for them to re-enter the mainstream and we have to reintroduce the grade 10 certificate. Why? Because we don't want any child to leave school feeling like they're a nobody. And as Gail said, tablets are not the way to go for the next five years. Um, why? Because school must be a social, emotional and intellectual experience and not simply looking at glass. Thank you very much.